Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve here with a new episode of Steve's Art Studio. Now, as I mentioned in my previous painting, this time I was going to do something totally different and new and, you know, just something I've never done before. Now, a lot of you guessed that I'd be doing a landscape painting, and unfortunately you guys were wrong, but I will be doing that soon enough. Um, what I've decided to do for this painting is actually an abstract painting. Um, and for those of you who don't know what abstract art is, it's basically art that doesn't really... Well, it's, it's basically where you don't try and copy something specifically. You're kind of just working with colors and lines and shapes. and You know, you're just creating a feeling or a mood. And it's just something I really enjoy because I don't have to think too much about it. I can just kind of go off on a tangent and, you know, create whatever I want. So I find abstract art a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of ways you can go about doing abstract art. Um, some people kind of, you know, they have an idea in mind and they just sort of go with that and they try and create that idea. But I myself, when I'm creating abstract art, I just kind of, I guess it's more of a journey for me than trying to get to the destination. Um, and what I mean by that is, rather than having an idea of where I want my painting to go or what I want it to look like, I'm just, I'm creating all sorts of different paintings, you know, it's kind of a journey. Um, I Basically my painting keeps changing, it keeps morphing into something else and then I mean eventually at the end I do have a painting complete and that's the finished product but for me abstract art it's it's more fun to just kind of keep it going you know um, I mean I could finish an abstract piece in 15 minutes and call it a day but I have a lot of fun spending an hour and a half doing an abstract piece and just kind of making it morph and change and you know eventually I have to tell myself okay that's enough um, you know it looks good how it is I need to stop working on it but I really like to just keep it going and you know I just like to have fun with it um, now the only issue with doing that is sometimes I do take it a little too far so you know I gotta try and tell myself to stop when I think it looks good but you know it, it is what it is I have a lot of fun doing it and really even if I don't even sell the painting and I just have fun creating it then you know that's the that's really the best thing I can get out of it you know I mean art's supposed to be fun so yeah I I have a lot of fun doing abstract art um, and as you guys can see in this painting it's been morphing the whole lot it started out I mean I don't even remember how it started out but it, you know, it was red and white a little while ago, and now the bottom's got all these kind of this cross hatching going on. Um, and right now, I was using a little sponge there. Uh, this is actually, I like how it looks right here with this little white. I almost wish I left it like that, but you know, I didn't, so whatever. Um, I decided to add a little black there and uh, get a little crazy. And as you can see at the end here, I didn't record all of this part, but I went a little bit crazy there. Um, so I almost wish I kept it how it was with just the white, but I don't know. I guess it still looks pretty cool. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about it. Um, I know not everyone understands abstract art or appreciates it, but it is a lot of fun. And if, if you ever get a chance to do it, I totally recommend it because yeah, it's a blast. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. Um, I'll have a new video out in no time. And yeah, I appreciate all the support. Thanks a lot. Peace.